We're here at the warm-up wall behind the SAS phase structure with Canadian climber Noah Bake, and we're going to try and explain a few of the terms that you're going to hear in the commentary. So first of all, Noah's going to kick in. So Noah, when you kick in, what is it that you're thinking about? Um, just to see if they actually stick and how far they go in. And, and how does that feel? I'm um, good. Cool. Another term that you'll often hear us say is the use of the word figure four or just four. No, it, use a fig four. Can you explain why you would use a fig four? Um, you generally use a figure four when you find a very skatey or a low percentage hold because it really sets your pick in the down position so it doesn't pop off. Uh -huh. yeah. So it doesn't, I think a misconception is that often people think it gives you more reach, but actually it just gives you a more stable position over the tool. It can and it can't. It's really the situation. Another term that we often use during the commentary is figure of nine, fig nine or a nine. So now if you could show us a nine. And perhaps now's a good time to explain the difference between a four and a nine. So with a nine, Noah's left hand and left leg are crossed. Whereas with a four, you would cross right hand and left leg. So Noah, explain why you would use a figure nine. Um, you generally use it in roofs to transition into a figure four to reach the next hold. Okay. So moving on to tool usage. Um, Noah, when you are climbing, you'll often use different tool positions. Mm -hmm. I'd like to cover some of those. So first up, Noah's gonna show us a wrap. So a wrap is when you kind of wrap your, the teeth of the tool um, around the hold. You'll generally do that when you see a horn kind of sticking out. And it's usually a fairly decent hold. And how does it feel? Um, they usually feels Barely secure. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Um, and then also you might go what some people call front on. Um, can you show us that? Yeah, that's just plainly placing the... So the clue's in the name. Straight on like that. And that, does that feel less secure? Um, it can. Um, it, it can be really bad, but it can also be really good. Cool. And then another crucial one that we often talk about um, is a stein. That is when you... Take it upside down and then, or upside down and then the teeth rest against the wall. So the, the head of the axe is resting against the wall mm -hmm. and you can talk on it almost, really yeah. yard on it. So we can call that a stein or a stein pull. And then there's a subtle difference between the stein and then an undercling or an undercut. Um, can you show us that? An undercling is usually upside down, but you don't stein your, the head of your tool. So the head of the tool would be free from the surface of the wall. usually wand. a more physical move too. Cool. Well, Noah, thank you so much for yeah. that. That was very insightful, very interesting. Uh, best of luck for the competition. Yeah, thank you.